Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Jonas. What you got for me? All right. So I was I was looking through the Reddit and something crossed my mind, or crossed my mind, crossed my desk. And I was like, yo, this is scary. This is All right. This I is, like scary things. This is scary. So apparently there is a type of tick. Oh, God. And it's called the Lone Star Tick. Oh, no, that means we it's li- here. We live in the Lone Star State, oh, right? Oh, no. <laughs> so kind of dangerous. Does it make you wear cowboy hats? N- no, actually a lot worse. Oh, God. Um, but it transmit a bacteria that could lead to uh, a condition that gives you a meat allergy. Meat allergies? Yes. Really, it makes you not want to eat, eat our fellow S- animals. So what, the, what it can do is that the tick bites you. And it transmit like a, a certain molecule that causes what they call alpha gal syndrome. Alpha gal. Yeah. And from 2010 to 2018, there were over 34,000 documented cases of al- alpha gal syndrome oh, in the wow. United States. And they were able to track it back to this certain type of tick that has actually been moving further north in like New York, Pennsylvania areas uh, as of late because of uh, a little bit of warming of the, uh, the globe. <laughs> but... What the uh, the alpha gal syndrome? What it does is that if you were to eat ingest meat, you could break out in hives, or you could go even as deep as having like an anaphylactic type of. Uh... It makes you like allergic to meat. Yes, and the worst part about it, Jonas, is that it doesn't go away ever. It's life. It just changes your forever. Your X's and Y's get all changed up, yes. dude. Yeah. <laughs> Your ex is it just it rearranges your Punnett square right there on Dude, the spot. Dude, oh my god, all my all my uh, my helix of all my dinner gets like shaken up. They put yeah. it in a salt shaker. But is is that not like is that like terrifying? Yeah, for considering I really only like meat. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm I'm already He's terrified. He's not lying, folks. Yeah, like if He's I a big meat boy, I just just love meat. I dude. can't, I can't even count how many times I walked in the door and just caught you with some meat in your mouth. Yeah, just hanging out with meat, dude. <laughs> you know, me and meat constantly. He just has, he has like, he has frozen sausages he keeps in the refrigerator. It's like it's a meat pop. And yeah, you're just like a <laughs> meat pop. I like put it on a stick and just. <laughs> You're just like sucking meat sausage on dogs. a stick. I just got like take like some deli ham, wrap it up on a. <laughs> Just there's just kebabs. That's it. You just open it up. My my meal prep is just buckets of meat in the fridge. And I just eat it. Just handfuls. Just throw it down my throat every minute I get. Meat, yeah, dude. Meat French fries is just like many bacon. I mean, yeah, many like uh, you eat sausages. French fries. I buy steak, cut it into French fry ah, size strips. Okay, and julienne. Then, yeah, julienne them like like those chicken fingers were my jam because that's just it's just fries and fried fries in the right. chicken shape. Like, yeah, dude, that's that's what I do. But I, I came across that and I was like, that is so at man, that is terrifying. So awesome. It's it's awesome that no, it's Austin. Oh, Very it's Austin. Austin. <laughs> Sounds like some people in Austin. I was going to say it's awesome from a scientific standpoint of like there is something like this that can happen to the human body because, you know, it's it, we're such complex creatures. And Now, are they like neon orange or something? There should be like a warning sign. Yeah, I mean, there should be. They're not really they that flash like a lightning bug. <laughs> they're not <laughs> super different from like any other tick, man, but they are they are wild. Have you ever had a tick on you? Uh, I've never encountered a tick. Me I don't either. think I've ever had a flea bite. Either. Well, I, uh, I've definitely had like cats that had fleas. So I have yeah. had flea bites for sure. Um, but like, I guess I've never waited around in like long grass and stuff like that long enough nah, to really, that's, my... I mean, that's where you get ticks. It's yeah. like, if you're, if you're wading through like waist high grass and you have on shorts and stuff mm-hmm. like that, that that's, that's how you get ticks. I'm, I'm not an outdoorsman. Are you trying to say that you don't touch grass? I I'm down with grass up with hope down with dope, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no grass out here. I'm actually allergic to grass, so I can't even. Are you? On, man. Oh man, Jonah's definitely not touching grass. Yeah, I'm not out there. There's no grass. I'm not getting grass rubbing it on my flesh, dude. Like, nah. <laughs> these these ivory ham hocks. They are they are staying grass free. <laughs> I mean, I go outside, but I, I I would have to say if I do, if, do I touch grass not very often. No, no, no. no. I mean, I, I I would play volleyball and dive in the sand, but man, okay. I, I, I mean, that, and that's kind of like touching grass if you yeah. if you do that regularly. Yeah, I used to. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll run outside, but I'm not really like out there like 
I don't know. Yeah, dude, I don't. No, I'm not like going down paths and trails and trailblazing. And if I bought some property and it has some woods, though, I would definitely explore the ish out of that and make my own trail system on it. It would be fun. I don't know, man. I've seen a lot of like videos of like uh, animals that are dangerous. People dying because of animals. Yeah, and oh, whether it be like a tick that could make me, uh, you know, not be able to eat a hot dog ever again. Um, or it, whether it be like a cougar or a bear or something. And I'm not trying to say, like, I know there's no cougars or bears out here. I got I you. mean, we are in Texas, dude. There's, 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 there's I'm bugs. sure there's bears and cougars here somewhere. Yeah, and there's bugs, man. Dude. I don't know what Texas bugs, bugs look like. Can I? But I hear people, they're big. Do people have, like, lizard farms? I mean, Like, because yes, there's wild lizards why? here. Like, can like can if I have like a property, can I like set something up to like make sure there's more lizards on my property? Can I have like a little lizard farm? I mean, yes, but why? Because they're cool, man. You like lizards? I like those little this lizards the, that run around. This is the first time ever hearing about you being a lizard fanatic. All of a sudden, I'm not a fanatic, the but like I think that's one of the from? coolest things about living in the South is that there's like feral lizards running around. Okay. Those like, like it's just little, like, like the geckos. Chilling. Yeah, like little geckos. Yeah, like those little guys that just like you just look around like, oh, he's just chilling on the tree, like just doing yeah. his thing, and they're scared of shit of you, and they'll tail will break off if you gra try to grab them or whatever. They're just yeah. they're, they're harmless. Invasive. They can't bite you. They have no teeth. They're but, invasive, so you can catch them. Yeah, yeah. You can but, catch them and keep them as pets. Yeah, but I'm just like, I wonder if there's something I can do to to propagate more lizards on my property. Oh, because they'll eat all the bugs. They're yeah. like spiders, but not scary. Now you're starting to sound like, so there was a guy uh, on TikTok, of course. It wasn't a challenge or anything, but he decided to go to a bunch of different ponds, and he started collecting frog eggs. And he would take the frog eggs, put them in a bucket with water, bring them back to his house, which was kind of in a rural area, uh -huh. and he would release them into a pond he had in his backyard. So he has all these different kinds of frogs so he went and did this for weeks collecting frog eggs like uh, i guess spawn frog spawn and just like putting them into his okay. needless to say that when they started hatching there were millions of frogs and they started infesting the neighbor's territory or the neighbor's well, property. Well, yeah, dude, that would be, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there would be so many frogs. And he, he, and he was like, the, he was like, hashtag saving the frogs. We're making a frog army. Yeah, you made a frog army, all right. There's now millions your neighbors of frogs. are pissed and like you're yeah. stepping on frogs and like. You couldn't walk I have, to uh, the house. Yeah. yeah, because I've been at like, back when I was a kid, I remember being at, uh, I don't even know what family member. It was like a, like a half uncle or something like. Mm -hmm. Um, and being out at his place and I remember one time we were out there and doing whatever, just hanging out in the yard or whatever. And all of a sudden we noticed there was just a bunch of dead frogs because there was so many and they were all walking all up under us and we didn't even know little, and we stepped all on them because they were just, they were all over the goddamn yard. Uh. And like, they were like, Oh my God. Like there was just not a ton of them, but like a few, right? Like yeah. little baby frogs, but they were, they were, he was like, yeah, we just have frogs out here, man. Sometimes it happens, you know, like you were just murdered. Yeah. Without even they're just, cause they're just small little like nickel size frogs in the yard. And you're just in the yard walking around in the dark. You don't know what the hell's going on. Like, uh, yeah, like it would be, but imagine that, but there's like thousands of them and you're just like, just you're, a trail of gore. Yeah, dude, that's gross. Yeah. But, I but, like, I mean, once you live in like the South or Florida, you do kind of definitely Florida, like Florida, there's a lot of frogs down there. I've definitely had yeah. like, I'll start my car up and I'll see like, there's a frog on the windshield and I'm like, what am I supposed to do? Get out of my car, take you off my windshield, make sure you're safe and then go to work. No, I got shit to do. Yeah. So I'm just on the freeway and <laughs> yeah, you, uh, like <laughs> you officially have talked me out of doing the lizard sanctuary though, because, because, because you're right. <laughs> You make a very valid point. You have no idea how many are going to come. Yeah, like he was probably like, oh, some them. frogs, and then you don't realize that like a hundred hatch out of every little thing that you just brought, and you brought thirty thousand frogs yeah. to your house, and then they all just keep multiplying, and then yeah. you're like, oh, yeah. That's why you do not put invasive species in places because you yeah. never know what's going to happen. Yeah. Like even if it's as simple as like, uh, like taking a plant and putting it in a nature preserve that isn't native to that. You never know how that is going to affect 
the, the ecosystem because yeah. it's not there for a reason. You're bringing it in. What are you going to do to that? Like, what if an animal eats it and then they end up dying or it's poisonous to certain what? Like, you Facts. could kill out a whole population of animals. Keep your lizards to yourself. Yeah, notice. exactly. Yeah, keep them to yourself. Let them do their thing. Anyways, go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out.